Today we are making motors and we also unlock oil processing and power storage in case of we need more power. And also we are making packaged fuel so we can use jetpack. That's nice, let's go. Hello, welcome. Let's start uh, right away. So we need uh, to make uh, motors to lo unlock and so on. So this here we can stop and I'm just stocking up on the cable. So we need to do some few changes. We need to bring instead of uh, wiring, we need to bring a rotor with the trucks. Instead, instead of smart plating, I, I mean. So, and here we have the stators already. We can stop this. I think we don't, don't need to stock them anymore. And the rotors will come from here. Pretty easy, actually. Then we just need to hook up the truck. We could actually start making some of those. Yeah, it's a start. Five per minute. Um, I can show you what I did here. I label and sign of everything. It's easier to find the correct chest. Uh, router, router. You see the power plant and what uh, I did last episode. Coal power. And I believe oil, it's a big oil area down there. So we need to start thinking about oil. So let's focus on the rotor and stop the frame and the smart plating like so and no more frames should be enough frames for a while but we need rotors And I'm also gonna stock up on the uh, reinforced iron. Okay, so the next load with the uh, truck is rotors only. So now the only thing we need to do is to change this one. I don't know why it stops there. But it should be a rotor here now, right? To the left. I'm just gonna reconnect here in case. And these have to go. I don't have room. Let me just do one thing. Why do you stop here? Is it because this is full? Yeah, that's the problem. That's why you don't need more frames. To be fair, we only need this. Right? And we need to find out I guess this is the rotor entry. Like so. There you go. Already. Thank you for your service. 
So this should go right up there. Is it already full? Oh, Jesus, of course. Sometimes this game make you mad. There you go. Let me see. Do I have staters on me? Guess not. Let's make a box down there. Let's maybe I connect this to this. Well, we can actually do it right now. Why not? <clears throat> so we have a splitter here. I don't understand. Can you connect there? Oh my god, sometimes. Really? Yeah. You know my flow. So it will split up here, so half will go there and help with this production. So let's uh, just fast make a box here. I can show you how to do it. Select image. Just write what you want. Stator. Select. And you can write the text here. Stator. That's it. And as you can see here, we can also get Jetpack Logistic 4. I think we need logistic four because we get the fuel generator there. So we need to unlock this. We could start with a really small one to get plastic and rubber. But we don't get power before we unlock this because we need the fuel generator. So we need to unlock this before to make computers. And logistic oil processing first, then industrial manufacturing, and then logistic. Yeah, basically everything. <laughs> so let's unlock this now because we have the motors now. So we need some copper, we need more copper, right? And let's go. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition. So for the oil, power storage. This could be actually could be a good thing. Coal generator. No, never mind. Production refinery. Yeah, we need motors there too. An oil extractor. We need also motors. So we have a good start. Now we're gonna set up some power storage down on the power plant and we need stators and we have that and frames did we fix up here actually yeah this should be plenty we can just fill it up later right no worries so this will I since we are running out of power kinda and we are building <coughs> we don't consume everything so and we're gonna build a lot of stuff to get to the oil so I want to save some st some power in case we run out then the power can kick kick in uh, so we can buy us some time so I'm thinking just gonna stack them here we are missing wire of course I hope I have this have it here yes we do so let's get rid of Two of those, yeah, it should be a good start because these only they don't need any power to run, they just store it. Okay, let's start with that. And I believe this is the main pole, 
Let me do this correct. Just do this. Just do this. Yeah. Each of those should... 100 megawatt. To get things moving forward, we need some plastic and rubber. And I believe it's oil in that direction. So let's hook up some small uh, refineries so we can move on with the milestones. So it's not that far. Uh, this will be a temporary setup. Uh, we just need some plastic. We have two impure. So this will be a small production. Uh, so let's just get started. So if you start this up. You can see that there are only 60, right? So I don't think we need more than a couple of those, actually. One, two. So this will be both plastic. No, this one, yeah, 30, and this will be a rubber. Yeah, we only need two, that's easy. Small setup, this will also pr will, will produce hmm, heavy oil residue. So you have to deal with that or it stops. And this can pump up to 10 meters, I think. You can see uh, 10 meter upwards. So that should be fine. And to de deal with the heavy oil part, we can use it as a coke. So I think we only need one. And we can, if we plan for the future, we can have a line here. And this can make, this is just to get started. So, let's have it a little bit more nice, maybe. Heavy oil residue. Heavy oil residue. Why doesn't that connect? Is this the wrong way around? Let's see, refinery this way. H to line it up. I can just copy this one. Petroleum Coke. Mm, of course, it needs power. There you go. This is a little, uh, we could use a generator here for, the, for that. But then we need water, and I don't want to bring the water right now. So we're just going to uh, do a really easy solution. That's to sink them. So we get the packaging, we can package the fuel. So the next thing is to get the rubber and plastic out, of course. We can have a merger. And we can have a... Storage. Really easy setup. <laughs> uh, it's really long time since I've done it. 
course this will use power, a lot of power. So the plan when we can unlock some more milestone is actually to pack it. Uh, package fuel, but I can't do it yet. For the jetpack. Well, I'm back at the hub. I just I had collected some rubber and plastic. And I just launched this milestone. Yeah. I didn't record, so yeah. But now we need computers. Uh, computer is more plastic and even more plastic. But we got some new production manufacturer. This is a big thing. We need heavy modeler frames. And to produce heavy modeler frames, we need to we need those frame pipes. These two we are making up here. Frames we are making down there. My plan is this. I'm gonna make package fuel and then I'm gonna make a jetpack because it's easier to build bigger builds. And then we're going for a computer. Uh, let me see. Because we need computers for, uh, for the fuel generator. So I'm gonna start down with the coal factory because there you have iron nodes and copper nodes because you need all of these ingredients, ingredients and it's close to oil. So for now it will be a small computer line. Well, the plastic will be almost nothing. Uh, so that's plans. I think I have everything. I handcrafted this heavy model frame. So we need to make that soon also. Milestone reached. Fluids can now be packaged to allow... Alright, we can just hook this up. And make this. This will make empty camps canvas canister. They need plastic. We can hook this up and take this like so. And they need of course power. And this will make package fuel. This will make uh, fuel. This is a really fast, easy setup just to make it started. So, here we actually need a smart splitter. So, center is overflow. Left is any, right is any. So here will be a sink that the overflow uh, will get. This is just to get started. Hope this is oh of course H. Let's see. Okay, so let me fast explain. These are only producing plastic. And left and near, right and near. So we'll split up. And if this get backed up full or this get full will go in sync so this will always run of course you have to have power on the sink in case that happened and this is really slow but that's okay actually I really want a bigger storage share so then we can... Now we have fueled the jetpack. Just a small update for you guys. Uh, it's some <laughs> problems with how thing is located. So we have four iron nodes pure and two copper nodes over there. And there's 
raw quartz silica fabric and coal. So I always need concrete, so I started with a small setup. Cute setup on this hill because it's a pure lime ore here. So let's connect those together. So I can have some concrete to build with. I don't have to go far to get it. Anyway. So. We have oil there. For plastic. We have also a lot of oil in this area. No one need to build computers. I want to have a bigger factory, but uh, my power is kind of limited for that. You see, well, I still have power because all machines not running. But the plan is to all the ores here, make them down here, and make a big uh, factory for computer here. We can bring plastic from there later, and we'll take some plastic from that small oil, impure oil source for now to make get started. I'm gonna start with ten computer in a minute, but it will not be full production. So I'm gonna build a plateau and see how I can get the ores down. So after a while, we managed to get some package full. I think we can get the jetpack now. We need some motors and rubber. Maybe some more. Let's see. Yeah. That's nice, let's go. I don't know how much it costs to inflated your pocket make the jetpack, but we need sucker spot. Okay. So I think it's fifteen. So let's test it out. Where is it? Nice. 